What's up guys? If you lost a lot of money in this last bear market, I can make you feel a lot better because you are not the only one. And I'm gonna show you what the benefits could be from the mistakes we just made. Because if you lost money, it basically means you invested at the wrong time. So let me show you something very cool. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We are over 5,000 subscribers already. Thank you guys very much. Please like the video, turn on the bell notification. You know how it goes. Let me show you something really interesting um so happy monday happy second christmas day or and, and blah 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 and bitcoin is uh still doing its uh, its thing right it, it's still uh doing nothing basically so there's not a lot to catch up to um it's going pretty sideways for a couple of days now and i think a, a big move is coming whether to the up or the downside we have to see but you know things could not stay that sideways for that long it's just not how it works if we take a real quick look at the bollinger bands let me take a look yeah look they're kind of squeezing right like if these blue lines are far from each other that means there are no big really big moves coming but you see every time they are squeezing a big move comes squeezing big move comes squeezing big move comes now it's to the downside all the time because it's a bear market um, now it's squeezing again will we get a move to the downside again we will see but what i want to show you is this let's say you invested a hundred thousand dollars in crypto what would you have now if you invested in a, at a certain date and that's a big difference that's a really big difference let me show you this if you invested um let me let me take a look yeah if you invested for example in uh, a couple of coins like cardano cdfi uh, chainlink cake arweave cody phantom moonbeam bitcoin ethereum joe uni and solana this these are parts of my portfolio what if you did that around the top of the last bull run right then your hundred thousand dollars will now be worth twelve thousand dollars right twelve thousand dollars if you invested an equal amount in every one of these coins then your 100k will now be worth 10k right but let me show and and that's like that's probably kind of how your portfolio is looking right i mean maybe you've done a little bit better but if you look at the roi while well, it's very simple it's uh not that great <laughs> it's not that great so um you 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 have to realize that if you lost a lot of money like fine or not fine it's not nice but right this is just what happened if you did that right 100k into 12k it's not okay but what if you invested the same hundred thousand dollars in the same coins also equal but that at the bottom of the last bear market what happened then if you've done that so we have all these coins let's calculate that you have a hundred thousand dollars here and what happened you went all the way up to 34 million dollars that's the difference like and so you you know you know get the point because it's the same amount of money you invest in the same coins only a different time that you invested in right that's the difference between getting your hundred thousand dollars to twelve thousand dollars or getting your hundred thousand dollars to thirty million dollars so it's it's quite funny um how that works now you can adjust a lot in here right for example if we uh look at the bear market again where you lose your money um for example you can say okay uh, solana did pretty bad right so if we delete solana right here then it won't be twelve thousand dollars but it will be thirteen and a half thousand dollars so although solana did very bad it would not make a big of a difference because every altcoin is doing bad right every altcoin did, did bad if we delete solana here very curious what's going to happen then because solana had an insane run right here right you wouldn't have had 24 million dollars still pretty decent pretty decent right now 
you can do this a lot of ways, right? Um, I mean, you could also say like, okay, I want to be more conservative. I want to be more safe. I don't want to put in too much risk with my investments these days. So you could say like, okay, we delete all these altcoins, right? And we only keep Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? So what if you invested only in Bitcoin and Ethereum at the top of the bull run with $100,000 in whatever amount you want, right? Then you would have turned your hundred thousand dollars into twenty six thousand dollars instead of twelve thousand dollars. So it shows that if you in a bear market, look, you can better be in dollars, of course. But if you want to be in the market during a bear market, don't go in altcoins. That's just the moral of the story because you have more than sixty percent of your cash left, right, compared to the twelve k that we just saw. So that's a big difference. On the other hand, um, I haven't checked it, but probably in a bull run, it works the other way around as well, right? Because we saw amounts, $30 million, $20 million, right? What if you only invested in Bitcoin and Ethereum in the bull run? How much gains would you have then? So let's take a look. Let's delete all these altcoins here as well. And what would we have? We turned our $100,000 into $4 million. Still, risk return, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. So it shows um, that in a bear market, you lose less money, way less money. You keep like more than, well, more than double of your money. And in a bull market, Bitcoin still and Ethereum make you a decent 40x, right? And yes, you can go for that thousand X, of course. So what are some risky thousand? Because what if you decide not to invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum, but only in very risky altcoins? How is that going to, you know, so far playing to uh, going to play out in a bull run and in a bear market? I'm pretty curious. So let's take a look how that would have went. Um, so let's first go to the bear market. Now let's go to the bull run. First of all, Ron, how much money would you make? Well, what altcoins are pretty high risk? So this is just, you know, sorted by market cap, right? So um, let's pick five. Let's go for Solana. Let's go for Cardano. Let's go for some lower caps. Let me search for some low caps. Let's not pick Luna. We all know what happens right there. That's, you know, not common, uh, I hope. <laughs> mm. Render. Let's pick Render. Let's again pick Cedify. And let's go with... What's there? I don't know all these low caps. <laughs> the thing is that a lot of low caps weren't there in 2019, so I don't want to go with too much weird shit. Um, let's go with Litecoin, whatever. Right? Solana, Cardano, Render, CDFI, and Litecoin. So what if you invested $100,000 purely in these five altcoins? So if you would have had put um, $100,000 only in Bitcoin and Ethereum, you made $4 million. If you did it purely with the speculative altcoins, you would have made $20 million, right? Out of your 100K, you would have made 20 million million dollars so in a bull run altcoins you know if you pick the right one of course they make you a lot more money but you know uh it's like do you want to go for a 50x or do you want to go for a 200x like is that difference worth the risk for you that's what you have to realize for the next bull run and that is different per person right because if I can invest $100,000 pretty safely um, and I can make $4 million out of that, 
I think I prefer that over investing hundred thousand dollars that I can make twenty million dollars out of. But if it comes down way harder as well, right? Because then you have to time and trade and 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 then you know, if you're good at that, then you should do that, of course. So what would have happened if you would have bought these at the top of the bull run, right? So Solana, Cardano, Render, CDFI, and Litecoin. Let's go for that. Solana, sorry. Solana, Cardano, CDFI, Render, <coughs> sorry, and Litecoin. So you would have turned your hundred thousand dollars into eighteen thousand dollars. Hmm. It's eighteen percent left of your portfolio. So yeah, in a bull run, it gives you way more benefits. In a bear market, it gives you way bigger losses. So that's kind of it, basically, right? So, um, and it depends, by the way, because I, uh, the top of the bull run was at, let's say, November 27, right? So, it's worse than this, I think. <laughs> because if you bought at the top of the bull run, you would have had $13,000 left. $13,000. So it's quite funny to look at this and to put some things in perspective, right? Um, so you can do this with any coin. It's pretty cool. Um, the dashboard is from Benjamin Cohen. It's uh, into the cryptoverse.com. It will cost you around, I don't know, $100, $150 every month. Um, it's a lot, right? But I think I bought it because I want some very decent content for this channel. So I'm using this uh, a lot um so yeah that that's pretty it's pretty funny man it's pretty funny um so it's it's to put some things in perspective right now i hope you now feel like you are not alone if you look at your losses for example i don't know how much money you have and how much you had but it's probably you know this is the average so it might look something like this right it depends on when you invest it if you um have more than around 14% of your portfolio left, then you, well, if you have less than that, you did pretty, then you did pretty bad. Because this is just considering you bought the top until the bottom, right? So if you, anything you did in between to make more losses, yeah, that's on you, of course. Um, if you have more than this, then, 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 then yeah, it could be worse. So that's also just something you have to know, right? Everybody is in the same boat right here. Everybody is trying to make money and everybody is basically losing money, right? So to go, uh, before we wrap it up, over a couple of charts, just to look like, okay, how is uh, crypto looking for now? Uh, is the bottom a little in sight maybe? It's starting to look more like we are heading there, to be completely honest. Um, and it's mainly because of this, uh, the indicated dashboard, the number is getting quite low now, right? I, I go over this a couple of times and as you can see in every bear market, we are basically sitting at zero almost. And uh, well, not completely zero, but very close to zero. We were all the time sitting at around 0 0.3 and we were ver ver <laughs> very long around 0 0.2. We were even climbing again. And now we are finally getting around the 0 0.1 territory. Um, so we are making new lows right here, which is very nice to see because if you look at the price, the price is not making new lows, right? This was the low at the price, but still the risk was higher. Why is that? Because this indicator is not only based on price, it's also based on social metrics. Like I said before, how much people subscribe to YouTube channels, how much they follow people on Twitter, YouTube views and all that. If we only take a look at that, you'll see that this is coming down quite hard in a couple of weeks from 0 0.7 basically to 0 0.2. So that's very good to see because this is making sure we're getting this bottom indicator going off without actually the price having to go lower. Um, and you know, some people might want the price to go lower, of course. 
right? But that's just not what it is uh, for now. So it's 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 coming down. Uh, it's not there yet. If we look at the color levels, which is pretty interesting, the very deep blue always marks the bear market bottom, right? And if we only look at the deep blue, we haven't got it yet. We haven't got it. If we look at the other color blue, that's the slightly less deep blue. I don't know how you call that. We got that, right? So we are getting there. But if we look at the deepest blue, bear market, we got it. Bear market, we are bottom, we got it. Bottom, we got it. Bottom, we got it. We have not got it. Not, not one single sign yet, right? The green and the red, sorry. That's also quite funny, by the way, because if, if we look at uh, the deepest red, right? We got it right here, top, we got it right here, top, we got it right here, top. But we did not got it right there, right? We did not got it right there. So if we do not get the deepest red, maybe we do not get the deepest blue as well, right? Maybe we should not take a look at that. So maybe we should delete these. And maybe we should only look at this as the bottom and this as the top makes a lot more sense because here we had the top indicator and the bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom maybe you know so um it's really i feel like soon the discussion like i don't know the discussion should end and that's when you should start the discussion and the discussion is is the bottom in right Everybody is discussing about, no, we're going to 10K and people act like they know and uh, it's, it's fucked up because they don't, right? But of course, they're giving their opinions on what they think is going to happen. Is the bottom in or is the bottom not in? The bottom is usually in when that discussion ends, right? When no one gives fuck anymore. Um, that's what you notice when the social metrics are coming down, right? People don't stop talking about it. That's... When everything gets boring and everything gets suspiciously quiet, you have to put extra gas on it. Please be there. I will be there. I will be there. <laughs> and I will let you know. Because that's the time, right? Not in the middle of the panic. In the middle of the panic, everybody is there, right? That's not when people give up. People give up when it's boring, when it's getting quiet. And that's kind of what I feel like it's happening more and more and more now. And the social uh, risk uh, shows it, right? Social risk shows it coming now. Um, one of the last things, supply and profit loss. Still nothing really changed. If we look at the 30-day moving average, they cross, right? And the bottom always comes after the cross so we had a cross right here and then we had the bottom well i can show you that with every bear market it's always the case but we also have to have the 50 day sma crossing because that crossed in every bear market so far this bear market it hasn't crossed yet we are getting closer though but then again we were getting closer here as well and then they uh, took their own path again so they are getting closer also without the price really going down why is that because this is the supply that's in profit or in loss right so if you it, so that depends on when you bought it so this is not necessarily a price indicator but a time indicator as well because what i have right now my roi will be different tomorrow from a year ago if you, I, I i i think you get what i'm saying right so I want to see this cross. Um, that's an indicator we still need, in my opinion. Uh, bear market after cycle peak. Again, we are the green line. It's it's doing something like it's 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 yeah. It's well, every bear market is doing slightly different, but you know this one is more of a slow bleed. I mean, if we put in a new low, then it's definitely the longest bear market, right? Because. Is it already the longest bear market? Well, it depends if the bear market is already over or not. And, and, and <laughs> that we need a bottom to know that. So if this right here was the bottom, then this is not the longest bear market. But if we make a new low, then it is the longest bear market. So far, it's a very boring bear market. And that's what's getting a lot of people out of it. So... Um, yeah, and then something else, by the way, because this is what I've been showing you a lot on this channel, right? I've talked about altcoins uh, going down, 
And um, that's just because the Bitcoin dominance is going up, right? So if you look at this, we, we broke this, this, this resistance right here. We stay well above it. So I think it's a matter of time before it kind of maybe resets to this line to around 41 and a half, give or take, and then goes up again. Uh, that's my roadmap right there. It won't play out exactly like that, I guess. But um, I think we will go uh, up in the Bitcoin dominance. So it means more money in Bitcoin instead of altcoins, right? So altcoins go down. And if you look at this, this is just the range. It's just the top of the range. Getting to the top of the range will already be like 50, 60% down for altcoins. Then I'm not even talking about this range right here. Right, where we can also very possibly get some somewhere in 2023, maybe. Right, so watch out with that. Um, but the Bitcoin dominance here shows, you know, 42%, give or take. But that's including stable coins, right? If we do not include stable coins, then the dominance is sitting way higher, right? Then it's sitting at 48%, right? So, and the ver first big resistance level will be at, yeah, I cannot draw lines right here, but that's kind of around 50 percent right so we are getting there we are getting there on this chart at least right but um that's the first level i i expect it to more go like uh 63 to be really honest and um, we have a long way to go before we are there but i think we will get there so i think yeah that you know i'm, I'm not saying that altcoins are going down a lot in dollar value that depends on what Bitcoin does, right? Um, but I think they will go down a lot on Bitcoin value. So that's kind of my thesis on it. If Bitcoin uh, goes down, yeah, and the altcoin and the Bitcoin dominance goes up, yeah, then then altcoins are screwed, right? But if Bitcoin, you know, goes up because Bitcoin has a run, and then altcoin uh, Bitcoin dominance also goes up, then it does, doesn't necessarily mean that altcoins are going down in dollar value. They're just going down compared to your Bitcoin. So you can still better uh, be in Bitcoin when you think that the bottom might be in, right? Because then you can still buy your altcoins without missing out because the dollar value is already up. So that's, I think, the smartest thing uh, to do right now. And total three purely altcoins is, is, is struggling with the 300 billion uh, market cap. Um, it, it's just not really, it's getting there and it's getting rejected all the time. It's not a really strong sign in my opinion. It looks like uh, it's trying, 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 trying. And at a certain point it will get pushed down. Um, maybe we will break it though. Maybe we will break it though. I don't know, but ah. I don't know. I don't want to do. I don't want to say what I think is going to happen because, yeah, I can be wrong. But you know, just consider all options. Uh, is what I'm trying to say. So, if you like that content, I'm gonna wrap it up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video if you like the video. And again, turn on the bell notification so you won't miss out on anything that I post. And I'll see you guys very soon. Have a nice day.